nothing against anyone who plays Pokemon Go, if I see another post on my Facebook page about Pokemon Go, I'm going to scream. Hey nerds, it's Tiri. Welcome back to my show. Topics of today include a new WoW troll control feature, the World of Warcraft Legion pre-expansion patch, release date speculation and what to expect, Demon Invasion pre-expansion overview, new Legion animated series, what Draenor content will be leaving when the Legion expansion comes out, and my thoughts on the new Overwatch hero. There has been much speculation as far as when the Legion expansion will be coming out for World of Warcraft. Usually it's a few weeks. Actually, it's almost always a month or a little bit more before the release of the expansion. Legion's coming out August 30th. Some people have said July 19th. That is when PvP Season 3 ends. I personally think the following week, which is July 26th, will probably be the release date of the pre-expansion patch, but I can't say for sure because they haven't said. Other speculators have said probably like August 12th or later dates, and I'm like, ah, it's usually about a month. My assumption is the latest date it'll be released is August 2nd. Again, speculation. Just bear in mind, they never release a pre-expansion patch before the last PvP season ends. I feel like they usually wait a week or so though. Apparently, Blizzard's a little tired of trolls. Blizzard's adding a new silence feature. If a person has been reported for spam or some sort of chat abuse, multiple times they will have severe limitations. When a person receives their first silence penalty, it is for 24 hours. Anytime following that, the penalty is doubled. There is no maximum amount of time. Silence players will only be able to whisper friends, reply to strangers' whispers, talk to party or raid chat, only the invited members, they can't talk in instance chat, create parties and raids, talk in global channels with a moderator so they can't talk in trade chat or general, share quests and sign up for pre-made groups. So they can't talk to any random people in group when they join instances. People are gonna think they're total dicks. Uh, there, I feel like there's gonna be an indicator though so that people know that they can't talk to them. Otherwise it could get kind of weird. I don't know, that's just my guess. I think this is a great feature. I love some chat control. I've always kind of wondered like, if this wasn't a thing, what happened when you reported spam? I guess they just took it on a case by case basis and they, you know, a GM would get a hold of the person who was reported however many times and talk with them or whatever and decide a penalty that suited them. Barring suspending someone's account, I don't see how they could have been punished in the past without this feature. So I'm glad they are implementing it. And don't think, oh, I could really mess with somebody if I like teamed up with some people and reported somebody and got their account silenced. Ha 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 ha. Because Blizzard can see all that crap. They can go back through and look. Once the problem has been brought to their attention, they will do their own investigation to make sure that this person should be silenced. Content for the pre-expansion patch will be released in stages. When the pre-expansion first releases, you will see things like the transmog changes. You'll have your appearances tab and be able to clear out a bunch of transmog gear. The class changes will come into effect. The specialization changes will come into play as far as having the ability to switch between all three specs and having to use an item to switch specs. And they are still working out the details on when they will release what content is available in the pre-expansion patch. I'm guessing you'll be able to start the quest line when the patch comes out, but you probably won't be able to do very much of it. If you've pre-ordered Legion, you'll be able to try the Demon Hunter no later than August 17th, so sometime mid-August. And that is also when the Demon Hunter Invasions will be available. An example of the Demon Invasions was uploaded on my channel. The last Legion video before this one, I believe, was that one. And it was actually really fun. The story was fun to follow and it was interesting. Don't let the fire bombs hit you. <sighs> they murder. From these demon invasions, you will get nether shards, which allow you to buy different things. There are useful combat items, a felbat pup pet. That's kind of hard to say. Cosmetic armor and item level 700 necks, rings, and trinkets. A new animated Legion series was teased the other day. It's called Harbingers and it is about the followers of Illidan Stormrage. In the teaser, we get to see Illidan, his initiates, 
Goldan and Cadgar. They will be debuting the first full episode of Harbingers at San Diego Comic-Con. And they will also have a panel, including a bunch of Legion developers at San Diego Comic-Con, followed by a Q&A where you guys get to ask all of your questions about Legion. If you follow my news videos, you know many of the things that will be gone when Legion comes out August 30th. A few more important ones that I have not mentioned are the Grove Warden Moose Mount that you can get from getting the Remnant from Archimond on Heroic or Higher difficulty. You can get the Moose Mount if you have the Remnant already. You can go to Moonglade and turn it in for the Mount, but you cannot get the item from Archimond. So, uh, I'm probably going to be trying to kill him before the expansion. Yes, I've only killed Archimond on normal. Judge me. Every legendary ring quest leg will be gone and you will no longer be able to get the crystallized fell to upgrade your legendary ring. The iron hoof destroyer and fell steel annihilator mounts that drop from black hand and Archimon mythic mode will no longer be guaranteed. They will become rare drops. And those fun heirloom trinkets that scale up to level 110 that currently drop from mythic dungeons will no longer drop when Legion comes out. Anything else you want to know about World of Warcraft's Legion expansion can be asked Thursday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Every Thursday leading up to the expansion release, the developers do a Q&A for you guys at twitch.tv slash Warcraft. Those of you that know me and watch my live stream know I love Overwatch, so we're going to round up the video with a fun new Overwatch hero. Pretty soon we're going to be seeing Farrah's grandma, Anna, in Overwatch. She is a sniper who can heal and damage with her sniper rifle. She has a sleep dart she can shoot at enemies, which puts them to sleep until they take damage. She has a biotic bomb that for enemies, it does damage and prevents healing for a few seconds. Friendly targets that get hit by the bomb get increased healing for a few seconds. Her nano boost ability makes it so that her friendly targets run faster, do more damage and take less damage. I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun with Anna. Well, that is my show for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please drop me a like if you liked this video, leave me a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Check back every Wednesday for a new video and gaming videos in between. Check out my Twitch page, twitch.tv slash tyranny. I live stream every Tuesday and Friday, randos in between. I hope to see you there or back here on YouTube, but until then, take care of yourselves. I'll talk to you soon. I love you all, bye.